this is a great day in Canada when Canada's judicial system chooses to say that our children are so valuable and sacred and precious that we will protect them by law. What a day this is. Yes. Getting to this day took eight years of often bitter legal battles. The class action lawsuit covers an estimated 16,060 scoop survivors in Ontario. The damages being sought, more than $1 billion. In Ontario, the practice of taking Indigenous children and placing them with non-Indigenous families for foster care or adoption started in 1965 and carried on for almost two decades. I lost who I was, who I was supposed to be. Marcia Brown Martel has been the central figure in the case from the beginning. She was taken from her community in 1974 as a young child. The worst days of my life were my childhood. That's a simple statement, but it's true. The ruling acknowledges the devastating impact on children who were left fundamentally disoriented, at risk of psychiatric disorders, substance abuse, and more. It is a highly significant decision because it's the first time that the Canadian courts uh, say that the federal government had a duty to protect Indigenous culture. I just was lost. There will be no appeal. The federal government, which over the years tried to decertify the class action and more recently delay the ruling, signaled today it wants to start negotiating a settlement soon. It's really important that we get to the table as quickly as possible. We hope that they will come. We hope for a meeting by the end of the month. The ruling is expected to give other similar cases across the country a boost. Marcia Brown Martel says for her, it has lifted a great weight when she has carried since she was a child. Havard Gould, CBC News, Toronto. As Havard mentioned, there are currently 60 scoop cases in other provinces, including British Columbia, Saskatchewan, and Quebec. There's been no federal apology yet, but two years ago, Greg Selinger offered the first provincial apology for Manitoba's role in the practice. <laughs> 